Hallo. G'day, Owen here with a random collection of strange objects which eventually will make perfect sense. Some of you might know that uh, in a few months time I'm going to be at Little Wars running Nazor. That's Nazgrub's awesomely zoomy orky racing cars. Uh, this is a 40k 8th edition based orc racing game that I've been messing with and it came to my attention that I don't have any war tracks so this is me remedying the situation. Now, at the moment don't look much like war tracks uh, because I of course have not assembled them. Also you'll notice that they're a bit flat looking especially if I flip one of them over and this is because these parts are designed to be cast in resin. I've got the resin, I've got the silicon to make the moulds, I just haven't actually cast anything yet. A little bit of work still to be done on a few other parts that aren't in this shot. I've got some turrets that need to be worked on. How, you may ask, are these going to become war tracks? Well, once they're cast, this will happen. Bam! Okay, there we go. Now, I know there's only two of them there. That's because I only have two sets of wheels at the moment. Three sets of tracks, three hulls different turrets, various different weapons, but only two sets of wheels, so you'll just have to put up with that for the moment. A little bit of work still to go on here, but basically finished. So we have here the rocket rack version. Um, these are the ends of some pens that one of my friends gave me. His office had a, I think when they moved into the office, it had a huge hoard of charity pens that had just been left behind. So. Since they're not very good pens, he um, took all the end bits off them and gave them to me because they're a very good size for making orky rockets. They're a bit smaller than the ones I used on the war buggies, but that's actually a good thing. Uh, and then of course, track units there, wheels at the front. This one fitted with a twin big shooter. Uh, I have been working on burners. They're not really quite ready yet. Or Scorchers are they called these days? I can never remember. Flamethrowers anyway. Um, working on them. A little bit more work to go on those. Uh, both of these bodies have got the big exposed engines. This one's got the front mounted supercharger uh, because I fancied making that. Um, the bodies actually got progressively bigger. Every body I built got slightly longer than the previous one. Uh, they are smaller than my buggies. They are bigger than official GW war tracks. Although it's difficult for me to tell that because the only war track I have is BAM! Yeah, first edition. Look at the incredible size of that thing. It actually fits on a 40mm base um, diagonally. Yeah, that, that's uh, that's how big the war track used to be. And this will turn up in a future video when I get around to it. But yes, I don't have a modern war track to compare them to. A little bigger, they're smaller than my buggies, uh, but bigger than GW buggies. Now you can also have a lot of fun with switching around different components uh, and different configurations. Observe. BAM! So I'm quite a fan of this alternate configuration with the tracks at the front and the wheels at the back. Uh, also like these particular track units there, um, they work really well if you put one at the front and one at the back and have just four track units. When I have them cast I'll be able to show that, I've just mocked it up and I like it. Um, this one, quite like having the track units at the front there, sort of sticking out the front. Nice sort of pronged fork configuration. There's one of the burners there. Uh, there's another one in progress there, some alternate guns and turrets and things like that. So hopefully fairly soon uh, I'll have these cast and I'll start producing more of them. Uh, give myself a big hoard fairly soon. I'll, I'll have quite a lot of these which I'll be using for Nazork and of course just throwing into wire snagatooth. Uh, some of them are going to end up in terrain as well I've decided but that's something that you will see in the future. Ooh. Future events such as these will affect you in the future to quote from Criswell. <laughs>